Just gone seven o'clock on the morning of Saturday, the 25th of June. Welcome. Lovely to have you with us, of course. This is our early bird. Lovely to pop up and just get your views on things. I couldn't start the day without asking if the overturning of uh, Wade v. Roe in America is a good move for society or not. So I'll be looking forward to hearing what you think about that. Absolutely incredible. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us on our early bird. We'll also be doing the main internet phone-in tonight at 9 o'clock, and you can join us live for that. How good is that? Incredible stuff. A very good morning to you. And, of course, you're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and the voice of the world internet radio show. There we are. Nice, uh, humble titles, I always say, for that, which is fantastic. So glad you could join us and do make your comments. Let's hear from you, because remember, all Scotty McClure's shows, 30 years this week, are all about you. That's why they've been so successful. That's why we're celebrating 30 years of live broadcasting to the people. Tremendous stuff. Do welcome uh, everybody that's joining us. Thank you very much for coming and joining us. Always a pleasure and never a chore. Good morning and welcome, I say to you. I've popped a little poll up on the YouTube channel if anybody would like to uh, do a vote. Mavro says, do you know how to hypnotize? Yes. Look into my eyes, Mavro. Look into my eyes. Listen to my voice. Listen to my voice. You're getting very, very sleepy. Oh, good morning, Scotty. Good morning, AJ. Lovely to have you with us. There's Dinky Doo Green Leaf. How lovely. Jamie sorry, somebody had asked me to hypnotize them there. So we're just doing a bit of that. There, Susan says, good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Susan. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. A dinky do. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Very, very important. Lots of new videos. And I've been trying my hand at singing. So I would like your opinion on that, you know. Uh, there we are. Hypnotize again with your finger. No, Mavro, we don't need the finger. We do it with the eyes, you see. That's what it's all about. So there you have it. I feel sleepy, says Mavro. Of course, Mavro. You'll be very sleepy. Your eyelids are closing. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Dinky do. Uh, good morning, all. Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. Scotty McClure with the early bud pop up this morning, just gone seven o'clock on a Saturday morning. Now, what says Mavro? Mavro, you just have a nice wee sleep. You just watch everything that we do on here for the next half hour, and then you have a lovely wee sleep. That's what it's all about. David's just joined us. Welcome, 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 I say. Saturday, everybody's a little bit slower than we Oh, Friday night. And, of course, we are based in the United Kingdom with this broadcast, although a huge number of the audience are in the United States of America. And we love that. Fantastic. Uh, no, the morning coffee has overcome your hypnosis. Ah, good, quite right. I have the morning tea. I haven't had coffee for 43 years, but uh, no, sorry, 41 years. <clears throat> ah, that's absolutely delish. Very, very lush, I say. Fantastic stuff. Excellent stuff. James has just joined us. Lovely to have you with us, James. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClue Live. Those of you who are scrolling. So there we are. Mavro says, hypnotize again once and for all. You're the best at it. Oh, no, Mavro. We don't want to do too much of a good thing, if you see what I mean. And we don't want the audience to all go to sleep for the next half hour. That would be terrible. So there we are. Where would we be if that were to happen, I say? Uh, now, fantastic. Star. I'm sure you're very good yourself. Mavro, why the um, fixation with hypnosis? I think you should tell us a little bit of backstory. You don't have to tell us anything personal or private, of course. That's your business. But it would be nice to have a little bit of backstory. Thoughts on the real strike? 
Well, I have to say on this occasion, I think probably the country is with the real people because we're seeing so much inequality and we're seeing so much poor handling. And we used to think, no, no, support the government because they're on our side. This does not seem to be the case at the moment. And conservative governments, consecutive conservative governments, because we have virtually been conservative, I would even class new labor as a conservative government because they really sort of carried on executing Thatcherite policies. You know, that's kind of what they were about at the time. So I would say that uh, on this occasion, the strikers are on the side of the people and of right, you know, from that point of view. So I don't hold with any of the old... Um, coming out from the government saying they're holding the country to ransom and that that's an old one that and um, I'm afraid I think we're being held to ransom anyway as ordinary people and it's a long long time since public service workers had a proper rise in line with inflation in other words it's not really a rise at all it's just in line with inflation. So although it does cause a fair bit of disruption, I think the people will have to say, no, on this occasion, we've got to stick to our guns. So that's what I'm saying there. Uh, it's not really McClure-type chat, that, to be quite honest, but I think on this occasion, and also I was appalled at Thatcher's handling of the miners. I mean, they were the absolute backbone of the country. There's no doubt about that. And, uh, you know, prior to the First World War, Britain, Britain controlled 75% of the world's coal production. 75%. But we were housed by our own petard by being too hard on Germany in the Treaty of Versailles of 1919. So there we are, and we said to Germany, and another thing you can do to humble yourselves for your Kaiser's, um, you know, work over the last years and for the loss of most of a generation, another thing you can do is give us cheap coal. And of course, that absolutely did in the British market. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Don't you do, Big McGregor? Thank you very much. Bobby, thank you very much for following us. Gilles Bois in Blue has just joined. Welcome, 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 I say. So lovely to have you with us on a Saturday morning. Fantastic stuff. Good morning and welcome to all of you. And feel free to take part in the poll if you're on the YouTube channel, guys. You'll see the URL for the YouTube channel at the top of my TikTok bio. I've done a lot of new videos for you as well, so I would like your opinion. Thatcher crushed the working man with the right to buy scheme. Well, A.J. Byrne also made the working man, uh, you know, uh, added assets like a hoose to the working man's portfolio. You see what I just did there? A <laughs> hee Fantastic stuff. But yes, that sure was actually quite bad news. Heard you say you might be back on the radio again soon, says Alco. Any updates, Chief? Uh, not right at the moment. I'm kind of maxed over the summer. But there's a new business has started up, and it's not doing terribly well. No names, no pack drill. And uh, I would like to see if I could perhaps, um, you know, get them out of the marsh. You know, get them out of the marsh there. Fantastic. If I could drain the swamp. There's the wonderful Ian Hills, Dinky Do, and a good morning to you, Ian, and to your good self. I say to you, and a very good morning to Susan. I've just finished my night shift. Ian, this is wonderful. And of course, just to add to the treat of your achievements, McClure pops up and says hi in the morning. And I think that's pretty good stuff. We'll only be up for maybe another 20 minutes or so. But it's just so lovely to be with you all on what we call the red eye shift. And well done, Ian, for your night shift. I well remember working well into the night. McClue spent about uh, 25 years going to his bed at 2 o'clock in the morning. 